I've got to come clean here. I use these glasses more than I would like to admit. And now that the buzzword spatial computing is out, this became even more appealing to everyone as a smart and expensive way to get your content in front of you, everywhere you want. And yeah, with some new features that you can already try right now, they got much better, all thanks to the new software update. So yeah, you don't need to buy anything new. The Xreal hair just got faster. That's it. Better for gaming, 3D content and movies. Hey Ty here, so welcome to the VRTech channel. Let's discover together how to beef up our Xreal hair, increasing and even doubling the refresh rate on them. So well, let's get into it. Alright, here we are. If you don't know about these glasses, the Xreal Air, I actually made a review a while back. You can check it out over here or it's gonna be in the description below. You might notice though that there I was talking about the Unreal glasses, but surprise, surprise, these are the same. Unreal changed their name recently to reflect better the XR identity and to make it sound cooler. I guess. But I'm lying, these are the same glasses, just with a different name. So don't worry too much about it. To sum it up though, these are AR smart glasses with the ability to create a 120 inches OLED display in front of you all the time with great clarity and colors, integrated audio if you don't want to use headphones and being AR, you have the perk to don't get isolated from reality as you can always see everything around you. Don't worry though, if you want to isolate yourself for more private experience, let's say, there's also an optional clip in the box. The cool thing here is they are completely plug and play, so you just need your phone or any device with USB Type-C input and video out and you're golden. A bigger screen experience unlocked. There's also the official adapter to use the glasses with HDMI devices like Xbox and PS5 with also an integrated battery in there for $59. And you can check it out in my review, of course. The thing is that these glasses till some days ago were actually limited to 60 Hz. The wall to watch content anchored to your face is not that bad, actually works pretty well. It wasn't super idea for Nebula, the AR front end, to use the glasses as the image could get jittery at times and give some motion sickness as well for people with a weaker stomach or without VR legs. So yeah, they decided to fix this problem altogether. I tested it and uh, it's pretty awesome. What are we talking about though? Well, updating your firmware, you're gonna be able to increase the refresh rate of the glasses from 60 to 72 Hz, so the same refresh rate that the Oculus Quest had a launch, and that's for the AR mode, and a whopping 120 Hz, so the same of uh, the Valve Index, for example, or the new Rogue Ally, only in here when using mirror mode. So if you wanna just try this new update with the super high hand refresh rate on these glasses, we can install that right now together. And to be honest, I'm trying it for a while and it's very hard to go back to the 60 Hertz that we had before. This under 20 Hertz will work on Steam Deck, MacBooks, Windows computers, and of course, any compatible device. Just bear in mind though that for now, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox are not supported to some hardware constraints. They're trying to work on it though. Now, to update, you're gonna need a compatible Android phone or a MacBook, of course, to install the new Nebula software, update 3.4.0. On Android, you're gonna find it, of course, just updating your app on the Play Store, easy as that. Instead, if you're on a Mac, you're gonna need to install the Mac Nebula software, and I'm gonna leave the link right down in the description below. When you're gonna connect the Unreal, um, Xreal, you're gonna get prompted with a firmware update for the glasses. And there is where we're gonna get the 120 or 72 Hertz mode. It's super easy. Now to the details. To activate the 72 Hertz mode, we have to click on Nebula, then the Mine tab, go to Settings and simply change the refresh rate of the glasses from 60 to 72 Hertz. It seems just very little talking about numbers, but the difference here is very, very noticeable. When using the AR mode and looking around, everything feels much smoother and more natural in a way. I can't even imagine when the 90 Hertz update is gonna arrive in the future. Hey Barolo. Hi. <laughs> this is a must-have toggle to enable and I don't really understand why it's not there by default for now because it really should be. 
For the 120 Hz instead, you're gonna have to be in mirror mode, as we said before. So no AR stuff allowed here. And it will be more of the manual setup, let's say. For that while connecting, you're gonna have to press and hold the brightness up key on the right arm of the glasses for six seconds and you will hear two beeps one after the other release the button after the second one and the screen is gonna flicker just for a second and then boom 120 hertz enabled just by reminder that the glasses will default back to 60 hertz when you disconnect the cable this mod is great if you're using a steam deck or a pc for example and you want to use the glasses for gaming of course you're not going to be able to run everything 120 fps but with the steam deck for example if you use light like games like Hollow Knight, the difference is gonna be absolutely noticeable and a big improvement over the integrated screen there. I mean, we're talking about a 120 Hz OLED display compared to a 720p LCD. That's better. By the way, I know that many of you use DeX from Samsung with the X-Real glasses. So there's good news here. If you have a Samsung device, well, you're gonna be able to use also DeX 120 Hertz, but the device, of course, has to be powerful enough. For example, my Note 10 that is quite old right now can't run at 120 Hertz, but the new Ultra will without any problem. Or, oh, and if you are in 3D movies or videos, well, you can still access the SBS mode, so the 3D mode with the glasses, just holding the brightness up button for three seconds. So after the first beep, you can release it and the screen will split in two parts. So you're gonna be able to watch every 3D movie or video that you want without any problem. Also great news with this update, increase the brightness in this mode, making it even more immersive. To be honest, I'm super happy with the update. Lately I'm using like XReal to play Pillars of Eternity via yeah, Xbox Cloud Gaming. It got into it uh, a bit late, uh, I know. And being able to look around the screen in a smooth way is for sure very very appreciated and makes the experience much better also it makes me even more excited for the beam that is gonna be a new accessory for around hundred and twenty dollars kind of a the brain of the X-Real glasses uh, so you're not gonna need your phone anymore if you just want to use nebula or if you want to still use your phone with the X-Real glasses, you're gonna be able to finally do something that I was always complaining about in my reviews. The fact that you can just put the screen always in a position, fixed in place, and you can look around even when you are in mirror mode. And for me, that's a really life changer because I'm not really a super fan of having this screen following you everywhere around stuck to your face. With that, you're gonna be able to connect with a wireless with Miracast or Apple AirPlay, I believe it's called, or wired if you wanna keep low latency and of course the higher refresh rate. There's a 4,800 milliampere battery inside and also a USB type C input to put the power in so you can use the glasses while charging them to use them infinitely. The battery life though is gonna be pretty good, around the three and a half hours. I'm very curious about it and hopefully I'm gonna be able to feature it on the channel with the glasses. The Unreal Air are going for $379, that is much cheaper than a 201 inches display OLED TV and they're available on Amazon. I'm gonna leave a link below if you wanna check them out, of course. But hey, are you gonna update to 120 Hertz? Are you still using your Xtreal glasses like me, even if you have a multiple VR headsets or 120 Hz is actually a life-changing thing for you and you wanna finally get them, let me know in the comment below. And as always guys, if you like the video like, if you didn't like this like, subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. If you really love the channel, the join button there. To further also the Patreon, so the Patreon, so join the channel of course. And I see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.